Hello and welcome to the Tower Kitchen. Today I'm going to be spiralising carrots three ways using the Tower Electric Spiralizer. We have the double ribbon blade, the large ribbon blade and also the Julien blade. I'm going to start off with my personal favourite which is the double ribbon blade. Best way to put the blades in is using two fingers, pop it in the top and a little twist I'm then going to put the carrot as central as possible with the housing on top and then I'm going to get the motor unit with the, the teeth already attached and I'm going to pop that on the top and give it a push until you hear a crunch. Let's get spiralising. The knack to spiralising is not using too much force and not using too little force. Now it does take a little bit of practice, but once you get it, you'll get great results. Let's change the blade to the large ribbon blade. I'm going to get rid of that to one side. Pop this up here. Two fingers again. And lift out. I'm going to bring in the large ribbon blade. Two fingers. Give it a twist. I'll pop the housing on this time. And then pop the carrot in, motor unit with the teeth on top, give it a push until you hear a crunch and then get spiralising. Alright, let's have a look at the results. Some lovely, really nice looking ribbons there that go lovely on a salad boil it if you like. Right, let's move on to the last blade. Pop that to one side. I will get the large ribbon blade out and bring the julienne blade in. Now the julienne blade is great for noodles, uh, so you can put courgettes as well as carrots. Really nice. You've got a lot of different blades there that cut it into strands. So pop that on. I will get my carrot in the middle, push down, and then motor unit. Push till you hear a crunch. Lovely julienne carrot right there. There you have it. Carrots spiralise three different ways using the Tower Electric Spiralizer. Top tips, two fingers for taking out the blades, not too much pressure, not too little pressure, and the main tip of all, have fun and get creative. For more tips and recipes, go to towerhousewares.co.uk forward slash blog, and we'd love to see your photos and your comments and your videos at hashtag Tower Kitchen. Bye for now.